All right, we're back at it again. I'm messing with computer stuff. 850 Evo, got 250 gigs. Unopened until today. Plugged into my Rosewell docking station. Right here on my screen is um, the Samsung Data Migration version 3.0. Use space 57.9 gigs. I'm gonna go ahead and click on the start. Oh, hi. Forgot to turn this on. Now we're gonna go ahead and make sure it's plugged in. Turn it on. You got a green light. 223.6 gigabytes source and target is Samsung SSD. 232.9 gigs. Here we go. Warning. When cloning starts, all data from target disk will be deleted and cannot be recovered. Also, files on the source disk that are open cannot be cloned. Please close all running files before cloning. Would you like to start cloning? Nothing is open. Steam is not open. Malwarebytes is not running, so we're okay. Green lights are flashing, so we're good. done we are 37 minutes in one itty bitty last percentage that's just like come on just get done i guess i should do a video on how i put the parts all together why i put something certain parts the way they are or use certain materials the way i did I'm going to start off with the side panel. The hardest thing to actually get on because, yeah. I actually have a sound dampening pad installed on the side panel, both the left side and the right side. And also the fact that I put a hole one on there means that this side, this fan hole, is blocked. Now we're going to showcase the keys in its full, full glory. But well, what you're looking at here, of course, are the hard drives. Um, there used to be a hard drive cage right where this used to be, or where this is right now. But I took them off, used the holes for those, and attached the hard drives on them. Surprisingly, they don't make a lot of noise. Even f with vibrations. Yippee to that. I got two Noctua fans. One in front. And one here for the exhaust. Also, the Corsair fan over here actually was on a, Cor a Corsair A50. It worked for the cooler, but I said, you know what? I'm going to put something a little bit better on that. Then I decided not, not to even use it because I have a Cooler Master. You're not going to see the cable management in the back because there's no cable management to begin with. Because everything here is a mess. The power supply is a EVGA 500 watt, 80 plus gold. Uh, we got a G skill. I already forgot. Rip Joss. G skill Rip Joss X 1866. We got a MSI FM2 A75 MA E35. Right here is the XFX 
R7 260X. I changed out the fan because the fan on it was a little loud, so I used one of the case fans that came with the N200. Right here is a DVD drive that is not plugged in because it's noisy when it starts up. This is the plug-in that goes to there. And right below it, in the two and a half bay, is the SSD that I'll be taking out and replacing it with the Samsung here. Everything here is not quiet, but it's quiet enough where you just hear the fans a little bit, but not very loud. Also the Noctua fans, they are attached to the, the low noise black um, attachment that they come with. Moment of truth time is to turn it on and see if it reads everything. Shake your body up and down. <laughs>